Hi, I'm John Strohmeyer with Strohmeyer Law, and today we're answering the question, what is a holographic last will? Well, the short answer is, a holographic last will is really just legalese for saying a will that's been completely created with the testator's handwriting. So this is an option that we have here in Texas where not, uh, not every will has to be completely typed up on paper using a computer or word processor. You can have someone just handwrite something that says, this is what I want to happen with my will or with my property on my death, and that's going to be enough. If it's entirely in the handwriting of the testator, so if the person who's creating the will, they've written all of it out in their own handwriting, then that will be enough for it to be a valid will under Texas law. So really, a holographic will is just a way of saying it's all in the handwriting of the testator. Why would we want to do this? Well, two reasons. One, you may not have time to get something uh, typed up and prepared before either leaving town or before passing on. So we want to make sure that we have a document that can be admitted as a last will. So this gives us an option to quickly make a change or two if we need it and have it be enforceable. So during these times, I've, I've used uh, holographic wills in a few cases. One, where it was a client who was getting ready to leave for the summer to go on vacation. And before she got on the plane, she wanted to make sure that there were a few changes made to her will. And rather than, uh, she didn't have time to come by the office to do the full signing with witnesses and a notary, but she did have time to handwrite out, you know, please make sure that this gift to this person is equal to this amount not this other amount. The other option is now that we, you know, getting social or getting groups together during COVID-19 can be a problem, we may not want to get that many people together. So a formalized or a typed up last will requires two witnesses plus a notary plus the testator. That may be an issue and we may want to minimize the number of people that we have in a room. So having the testator do a handwritten will or that holographic will is a way for them to have their will in place to achieve their testamentary planning goals without getting as many people together. At that point, all we need is the notary to come in and uh, verify that the document is a holographic will for the testator. Now, the notary is not required to make it valid. The will is valid without that notary, just being in the handwriting of the testator alone that's enough to make it a valid will. The notary we're adding in to make it something that's a self-proved will. That means that we can go to the probate court uh, after the person has died and that because it's been notarized we can verify that the person who wrote it, the testator, is actually the person who wrote it. We don't need any testimony about uh, the the testator's handwriting or somebody saw them write it, we know from the notary's stamp and the affidavit that goes along with it that the testator did actually write it. So holographic wills in summary are a great way to make some quick changes or be a quick quick will for someone. Uh, obviously we're going to be limited in how much we can write based on how strong a person's hands are and how much they're willing to write but we can avoid the need to get witnesses into a will, uh, into a will signing, so we can actually get more documents signed now. Mm -hmm.